Welcome back to Joe's Computer Museum. On the last episode, we tricked out the Coco 2. Now, it's time to put it to work. Warm up the CRT, it's time for another episode. My Coco has no reliable external storage. The tape deck is utterly busted. I tried in vain to resurrect it. I could use another tape deck or play in WAV files from the PC, but that's slow. I'll only do that when I'm feeling really nostalgic. The disk system is beyond salvaging. I'm certain this is due to my controller pack being the earliest analog version, which is notoriously unreliable. I tried just about everything I could think of to get the original system working. I cleaned and then replated the card edge connectors. I reseeded chips. I cleaned the drive heads. I calibrated the drive speed. I tweaked the pots on the controller pack. I clipped a couple of capacitors that the hive mind says might be a problem. And I even used different disk drives. Nothing worked. Unlike the cassettes, the solution here isn't as simple. But I have a couple of options. I can get another controller card and hope everything works out okay. I can get a reproduction controller card, and that's sure to work, but then we're still dealing with magnetic media. Or we can get this, the Coco SDC. The Coco SDC is a modern cartridge pack for your Coco. It fully emulates a standard Coco floppy controller, allowing it to support disk images of all kinds, including commercial software packages that other solutions might not support. It also supports hard drive images and cartridge images. You just put images on the SD card, pop it in, and use the built-in commands to mount your images. Finally, reliable storage for my Coco. You saw how easy it is to load floppy images, but what about cartridges? Yep, it can do that too. It supports up to eight images of 16K or less each. If you have a multi-pack and your own cartridges, a simple type-in basic program will write your cartridge to the Coco SDC. If you download cartridge images from the net, you'll have to go through a longer process. Ed Snyder has this process documented, and I have a link in the description. The process requires you to manually hex edit the cartridge files. I'm not fond of that, so I wrote a PowerShell script that will do the hex editing for you automatically. I have links in the description to that too. Now that we have unlimited storage, let's have some fun. All right, now we're going to play a little Miss Maze from a disk image. As you can see, we got that loaded up here. This first screen is like, it's like a, a, a blue screen that you can use to um, calibrate the colors, obviously. So, I'm going to see how well I do. I've got this crappy uh, controller here, and I'm like the world's worst video game player. So, yeah, I'll never be doing Let's Plays on my channel. You can start. You can do it. There we go. Let's see how well I do. Oops. Uh, crap. C come on. Con controller sucks. Up. No. Up. Come on. I'm the worst, worst, worst game player ever. Come on, do it. No, up, up, up. There we go. Down. Down, down, thank you. Down. Come here, you ghost. Come on, come here. Down. There you go. Gotcha. 
I might actually clear this board. Amazing. Or not. Oh well. All right, now we're going to try a cartridge image that we've loaded onto the flash, and we're going to play Farfall, uh, which is a uh, interesting, simple little game uh, by John Linville, uh, created for the Coco as a new cartridge game. So let's try that, if I can. All right, let's see. No. Yeah, I failed. Let's try that again. Come on, that wasn't fair. Oh, I'm doing okay this time. I'm bound to fail eventually. Here we go. Am I ever going to fail? pretty much the whole game. You just see how many points you can get. I lost. The Coco SDC doesn't solve one important issue. I want to try to preserve the discs that came with my Coco. Just like with my K-Pro, we can use a PC to do that. First, we have to have the right kind of PC. We got soda, orange juice, purple stuff, Sunny D. Hey, all right. Use the right software. And that's it! Sadly, I wasn't able to preserve all of the discs. Most discs had read errors. One disc is definitely a K-Pro disc. And there's a set of five discs that won't read on any system I have. I tried the Coco software, an Apple II, nothing, MS-DOS, sort of, the K-Pro 1, A Commodore 64, an Atari 800XL, and JCM1. Nothing worked. Here's a picture of them. If anyone out there knows what these are for, can you let me know? Final thoughts? The Coco SDC is one of the best ways to get software on your Coco. It's rock solid and the documentation is excellent. I find the 16K limitation of cartridge images a little disappointing, but when you consider that most cartridge games are available as fully converted disk images, it's not a real downside. Everyone in the Coco community seems to have a Coco SDC already, but if you don't, I highly recommend it. Well, that's all for today's episode. While you're here, check out some of my other videos, and remember, 8-bits are all you need.